So it is about, or sorry, not about, it is Wednesday morning, about 10 after 9, which means I'm here roughly an hour and a half earlier than I had been getting here. Um, I, I brought a couple of tent lights today. Uh, they're not giving off a whole lot of light, but at least it's, you know, better than nothing. Uh, again, you know, on camera, looks bright as day in here, but it's it's really, really not. Anyway, um, with the getting here earlier, I'm hoping to get all these cans bagged up today and out of here. And if I have any extra time, I will start on that huge metal pile, uh, you know, getting that squared away. Uh, if you did not see parts one and two, feel free to go back and check those out. Um, part two just dropped yesterday on YouTube. So, um, you know, you can go back, look at those two videos and see the progress that I have made thus far. Anyway, I got to get to work. I will get back at you later. It is 9.45, so I've been at this for about 30 minutes. And uh, as you see, I got all the rest of the cans out of here. I'm sure there's probably some hidden in some corner somewhere, but I'm, I'm really not concerned about it. Uh, there are a few scraps of metal in here I might grab, such as that stuff there, which, you know, I believe that would be aluminum. I got to check it, and then I got like one or two of these pans floating around here and again I, i'm gonna check those i wish i could grab the pie tins but unfortunately the scrapyard doesn't pay out for those they said uh they actually pay like less than one cent a pound so it's not worth it to bring those in uh, and there's my tent lights i gotta grab those but i'll show you what's on the trailer there's not much So on the trailer, I have four bags, and uh, I don't have to worry about bagging up any more cans now because they're all bagged up. Um, but the the thing is, is that with these four bags, that means I've taken either 44 or 45 bags of pop and beer cans off this property, and uh, I'm just over it. So I'm glad this is the last of it. Anyway, I got to start sorting that metal right there seeing what i can grab today and uh, what needs to stay so i will start loading stuff up and i will show you what i end up grabbing the trailer is about half loaded and uh i've got some stuff in the back of the van and it's about 10 50 right now in the morning uh i think i'm gonna uh, call it quits for right now and the reason why is because with this pile over here with everything that I have checked I would say that about 99% of the stuff left in this pile is going to be either aluminum or aluminum breakage um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, go to the scrap yard right now. And if I have time to come back here today and load up a bunch more stuff, I will. Um, otherwise I'll just come back tomorrow about the same time I came today. And I know I can get this all out in one trip. Um, so either way. Uh, I would say by the end of tomorrow, I should have this whole property pretty much licked. Um, there are a couple things in this pile that I cannot take, such as those doors right there, um, because they have a core. But other than that, though, I should be fine taking pretty much everything else. Anyway, uh, I'll get back at you later. It's 12.15. And I decided to come back here. As you can see, the trailer is empty. I decided to come back here today and load up as much of this stuff as I possibly can to try and get a jump start on tomorrow. Um, I don't think I'm going to get it all loaded today, but that's fine. Uh, I can definitely come back here tomorrow and load up what I don't get loaded up today. Uh, anyway, 
just thought I would let you guys know. So I will get back at you either later today or tomorrow. So as you can see, I've done quite a bit of picking up over here. Um, I'm, one thing I'm not grabbing is like the license plates. Uh, there's probably some little pieces of steel in here, such as like, you know, that, uh, that door handle and a few other things, maybe some rebar. I'm probably not going to grab that stuff unless there's like a bunch of it that I find. But all that back there is aluminum. So I will be grabbing that tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I am stopping today. Uh, reason being is I don't want to start loading the big stuff on the trailer and run out of time and then have to come back here, uh, you know, to finish loading it tomorrow. But as you can see, I did get a lot of stuff cleared out of here. Uh, you know, the property is not going to look perfect by any means, but anything I can take off the property does make it look that much better. This is aluminum as well. So I'll be grabbing that tomorrow when I grab that other big stuff. Um, I'll show you. I, I don't have anything on the trailer, like I said. But the back of the van is almost completely full with aluminum breakage. This is actually a mix of clean aluminum and aluminum breakage. But if I separate it, um, there isn't enough to make a... A decent load with either one so I'm just gonna sell it all together as aluminum breakage um, I know that pays less than clean aluminum but I don't want to take any chances of them coming out when I'm unloading and complaining that I have uh, breakage in with clean aluminum so it's just easier to sell it all as breakage <laughs> anyway I'm gonna wrap it up here and get heading home I will get back at you tomorrow so I'm back at this property for what should be the final day. Um, I don't think I'll have to come back here again uh, after I get all this aluminum siding and stuff out of here. Once again, I'm not able to take the doors. I'm not able to take that canister right there. Um, and there's a few other things in here I'm not able to take, such as those uh, license plates and stuff. But... Um, as you can see, the trailer's empty. Um, they, after I'm done with this stuff, they might have me come back at a later time because inside uh, that garage there is a bunch of like copper pipe and a few other things that they might uh, want me to come back and pick up once they actually can get into the garage and start going through stuff. Anyway, um, I'm going to start loading this stuff up. Oh, I've been here about... An hour and a half or so but it actually didn't take me that long to gather everything up but as you can see back there all that siding is gone um, I was hoping that I didn't have to come back here uh, again until they called me to get the stuff out of the garage however um, as I was getting the siding out I came across a bunch more steel uh, so I'm gonna have to come back tomorrow to pick that up and then also I got some like steel wire there and then whatever's in this bucket um, Which I might I'll, I'll definitely grab the wire tomorrow. I may or may not grab the bucket. I'm not sure um, But let me show you what is in or what's on the trailer. I should say Again, there's not a whole lot. There's maybe $10 worth of aluminum siding that's on the trailer, but here it is. Um, it took me a really long time to strap this down because my ratchet straps were not working. Um, I mean, they work fine, but they weren't working for this. So I had to use tie downs and just kind of do the best I can. Uh, I'm gonna have to take it easy on the way to the scrap yard and hope I don't lose anything. Um, in the back of the van, I added a bunch more small stuff, uh, you know, so now the back is definitely completely full. And then uh, over here, I came across uh, a, a motor, which I'll bring to the scrapyard tomorrow, actually, because I'll have some more motors to bring. I have some copper tubing, um, and, and then I have some copper wire in here. 
And then there's this, which I'm not sure what kind of wire this is. I, I think it's for a welder or something, but this is gonna bring a pretty penny at the scrapyard today. Um, so anyway, I am going to get out of here, get to the scrapyard and then call it a day. And I will get back at you tomorrow. The storage unit right now, um, I picked this up this morning, this uh, cabinet here, and then there's some pipe there too. Uh, I just kind of threw it on the trailer because I wanted to get out of there as quick as possible and I only had like five miles to go so I wasn't real concerned. Um, but the big project today is clearing out the storage unit again. Um, I got this broken grill that needs to go and then there is that right there which I'm not entirely sure what that is. Um, and then I got that pool uh, filter there, and there's another one right underneath it. That's what's in that gray box. And I think there's stuff on the other side too, uh, but I can't get to that right now. And then I've got this door still. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with the door. I'm going to check it, see, you know, exactly. I, I don't know if like this side here is also metal. I think that's actually wood, and then it's metal on the outside. So I might have to use a flat bar or something and, and uh, separate that, but, you know, we'll see. Anyway, I got some work to do. I'll get back at you later. So here is the storage unit now. Um, I was able to take the legs off of that table. The only thing I can't do right now is get uh, this metal off because the screws that are holding it in place are rusted. And uh, I would have to either break them or cut them off. And I just don't have the time today. Um, but as you can see, the, the storage unit's pretty cleared out. I still have uh, that piece of wood furniture that needs to go. This one that needs to go. And that needs to go. Um, but the problem is that for those two right there, those two, I was not paid to take those. So... What I have to do is wait until I have a demo job to do, and then um, I can break them apart and throw them away as demo. And then of course, I still have that large television and this large television that I've been holding on to for like a year and a half um, that needs to go. And that is gonna get donated and that's gonna get donated. Um, and I'll probably take care of that this weekend, but you know, it's, uh, it's coming along. I still have that big grill too. And you know, every time I come in here to clean out the storage unit, I always end up with a trailer load full and then I can't take it. Um, and I'm not going to take it just as it is, but I can hold on to it for a while, but you know, because it does work. Um, so, you know, it's not like it's completely useless. Anyway, I'll show you the trailer. Here's the trailer. So there's that broken grill. There's the table legs. One of the pool heaters. There's the other pool heater. I've got this barrel here. Um, and of course that door. And uh, that's the cabinet that I picked up today. And over here, um, I've been here for like two hours and it didn't take me two hours to load, but what did take me the longest is the motor that's inside this. Um, I was not able to get the motor out. Reason being is um, when I picked this up, the guy said that the uh, the drum bearing had gone out. And when I tried to take the motor off, which is you know connected to that that uh, that bearing, um, I could not budge the motor at all. It, it was like somebody at one point in time had like over tightened everything back there. And, uh, it, you know, it was just like super glued in place. And uh, I was struggling, struggling, struggling to get it off. And finally, I just said, screw it, it's not worth it. So I decided to load it on here as is. Um, there's that grill again. And then back here is the other small steel again like always you know i throw the small steel in the back it can't really be buttoned down and in here i've got just one 
electric motor and then uh, that piece of aluminum there I don't know what that is for but it's fairly heavy uh, it's, I don't know probably 20 pounds or so and it's just regular aluminum so I'm gonna bring it in see what they you know see what they pay me for it anyway I am going to stop this and I will get back at you when I do the breakdown just real quick I want to interject uh, I totally forgot that I have one more item to pick up which is a dishwasher and the scrapyard does not pay out for those so I am actually charging uh, that person for that uh, that dishwasher you know it's all going to the same place as everything else on the trailer but you know I mean if I'm not getting paid for it you know why pick it up so I just told them you know this is how much it's gonna cost and they agreed to it so I'm on my way to go get that right now I'm back at this property one last time you know this is the property I'm at I get this property one last time to just grab this little bit of steel that I left yesterday and then I'm basically officially done with this property aside from um, if they have me come and get stuff out of their garage. Anyway, uh, I'm going to grab this and then I will definitely get back at you uh, to do the, the breakdown. All right, week is done. And that property is now cleared out unless they call me to come back and, you know, pick up some more stuff that's in the garage, like I said. So here is the breakdown. Um, shred, shreddable tin, 1,393 pounds. 1010 extrusion, 4 pounds. Cans, 30 pounds. Aluminum breakage, 160 pounds. Number 2 copper, 1 pound. Number 1 copper, 1 pound. Number two, 65% ICW, 2 pounds. Number two, 45% ICW, 22 pounds. For a grand total of 1,613 pounds for this video. Um, I, I don't remember what the other amounts were, so you'd have to go back and look at parts one and part two to get the total amount of, the, you know, uh, metal that are brought to the scrapyard over the course of what is it two weeks or so um anyways so that's kind of that um i do have a job coming up uh monday morning which i may be able to film um i'm not 100 percent certain on that and then of course uh for the rest of the week i will be you know probably going around collecting scrap metal unless other paying jobs come in uh because that in case nobody has caught on to that that's exactly what i do um if i don't have any paying jobs then i focus my time on collecting scrap metal and you know i'll do that until a job comes in and or until i have a full load um which is exactly you know what happened today with clearing out the storage unit i had a full load of scrap metal that needed to go um anyway this video is long just like my other ones uh you know today is no different uh so i am going to stop this video and i am also going to say just as always don't forget to like com comment subscribe share the video if you like this content it really helps me out have a great weekend